Wampire. For today's lesson, uh, what I'm going to be showing is actually one of those techniques that really takes beginners in the direction towards intermediate. Okay. Uh, usually in a single video, I try to include stuff for beginners and also for those that are a little bit more on the advanced side. So, uh, okay, what we're going to start off here for today is a very basic and good exercise that I have shown before. So we're going to start off with good solid basics, which is this one. Drawing of the sword, okay? This is what I like to call this technique. So it's like you're drawing sword. You're drawing a sword. So one, two, one, two. This is a nice warm-up technique. Just try to get real, real uh, fluid with it, okay? So basically you're just drawing from underneath your armpit. And the main thing that I want you guys to, to realize here is first, like, do like reps of like 30 of this uh, each time you pick up the sticks and you're about to do uh, other stuff. So along with the other stuff, add in 30 repetitions of this. It's really good. But what I want you guys to understand here is that when you're bringing it from down here like this, okay, so right here, it goes to the armpit and you draw it. It goes to the armpit and you draw it right here, this position. This is essentially the heaven six starting position. You see that? Okay, so from here, you could easily incorporate the heaven six. Boom. Okay, and then you could go back to this. All right, so from right here, you could go into the heaven six. See? And then I could draw, 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 and go into the heaven six. All right? If the heaven six is a little bit too advanced for you or you're not quite there yet with it, you could substitute it with this technique right here where you're just swinging from side to side because the starting position is the same. So I could go boom, boom, I could do this one, or at any given moment from here, I can draw, 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 you see? And it takes me back to here, which I could easily go. See, I want you guys to see a connection between the techniques. This is very, very important to connect the techniques together, okay? So this next one, please put in a lot of practice there. So this next one that we're going to go into is another connection, okay? Uh, from this technique, from this exercise right here that we're doing, okay, we're actually going to go like here. From this position, you're going to do this, all right? So instead of drawing it out like a circle, okay, making this nice fluid motion, nice dynamic fluid motion, what we're going to do is we're going to come here and go bam. That's your strike. And bam. Okay, this connects the abanico motion, all right, with this drawing of swords exercise. Okay, so this is nice and fluid, nice large techniques, but now we're going to go more compact. So boom. So bring it here and bam. Bring it here and bam. So this is actually a half abanico motion, and this is a vertical abanico motion. So you're going right here, from this position right here, your arms like this, and you strike. Arms right here, and you strike, okay? Um, if you guys have trained in uh, Wing Chun or Karate, this, this arm position like this should be very, very familiar to you. So once again, we're, we're connecting techniques together. That is the key to further your evolution. So uh, this next one that I'm going to go into is, there, it's actually a big gap to go from what we just did right now to this next stuff. It is harder, okay, because the wrist and also your grip um, needs to be developed. You, you need to have a significant amount of practice and training with the other figure eights and uh, the other circular motions and other techniques that, that we practice. So, uh, you know, please go back to what I just showed you and practice those over and over. But if you can do this stuff, that's fine. Probably not going to be able to. But, uh, okay, so I'm going to show it for the, the people that are a little bit more on the advanced side. Okay, so what we're going to be doing here is we're going to go back to this technique right here, this main slash. Boom. Okay, so we're doing this basic slash like this. Okay, this is the most uh, basic slashing technique that you're going to learn in the Filipino martial arts. So from here, we can modify the slash and go here and sideways. So we're still doing this diagonal strike. But then we switch it to a sideways motion, okay? So we go one, two, rather than one all the way down and all the way back right here. We're going one, two right here. Bring it back, one, two, all right? So 
What we're going to do is we're going to combine that with this one right here. Bam. We're going to combine it with this motion. So instead of bringing the stick up here, we're going to do it from here, this position right here. So from right here, you're going to go bam, add that diagonal, and then sideways park. Okay. So once again, from there, open again, and bring the arm to this position. Flip, diagonal, sideways. Open, arm down, flip, diagonal, and then sideways. Okay, and then open the arm again. So you can actually do that with both arms. Okay, so from here, come here, one, two, and then open. Now this arm, from here, this position right here, come here, flip, okay, diagonal slash, continue just a little bit, sideways, and then open. So one, two, open, boom, boom, open. Right here, boom, open, boom, open, boom. Right here, right arm, left arm. Right arm, left arm. Right arm, left arm. Okay, now when you start mixing that, because as, as I showed you before, this motion right here, this is the heaven six position. So when you start mixing it with heaven six, okay, and other techniques, it starts to get really fun. Okay, so you start to really feel the momentum and why this is a good idea because you're nice and compact here and then from here you could generate so much momentum with the sticks. Okay, so anyway, uh, I hope that made sense to you guys. Please put in a lot of practice. Thank you for watching and take care folks.